Hello there, it's Andreas Quintana again, and uh, the other day I was speaking about creating Kindle books to um, either cr create a passive income online or to even generate leads for your business. Well today I wanted to go a little bit more into detail about how to exactly um, go from an idea or from researching a topic to creating your finished Kindle book and launching it on Amazon.com. Uh, before I actually start this video, I wanted to tell you that I'm giving away a free guide on creating Kindle books, formatting them, and using them to generate leads right below this video. Now, if you're watching this on YouTube, you'll find the link in the description right below this video that will take you to my blog, where you'll then get a link to actually go and download the, the entire guide. So uh, that will go into a lot more detail than what I'm going to talk about now. This is just uh, as an overview for you to, to start getting your Kindle books done. Okay, so if you're on my blog right now, just go down below this video to the link, enter your email address and download the guide before you forget to do that. Okay, uh, now, the, there are a couple of steps uh, involved in the process of creating your very first Kindle book and releasing it on Amazon. The first thing you want to do is go to Amazon, preferably to the Kindle bestsellers section. Um, you can do a simple Google search for this to, to get to that page if you don't find it. Just uh, go over to google.com and type in Kindle bestsellers and this should take you to uh, the, the right page where you'll find all the Kindle bestsellers and their respective categories on the left hand side. Uh, what you want to do then is select a specific niche. Um, let's go um, to the non-fiction books first because I find uh, they are a little bit more easy to, to, to rank for in terms of keywords, uh, easier than fiction books. So you want to go then select a specific niche, maybe something that you're interested in to start off with. Let's take how-to guides and gardening, for example, J just to, to stay an example here. And then you want to go to that list of gardening books, and you'll find on the first page, you'll see the top 20 books in that category. Those are the top 20 bestsellers right now on Amazon that are selling the most copies. Uh, what you want to do for the first step in your research is go down to number 20 in the list and scroll down a little bit where it says book details and there's a little thing you'll find that says um, Amazon bestseller rank and the lower the number is is actually the, the better the sales rank so the, the number one sales rank means that it's the number one best-selling book on Amazon and it's going to be really difficult to get into the top 20 if, uh, if that ever is the case. Well, number, the number 20 book can't be the number one bestseller anyway, but that's just to, to state my point here. Uh, you want to find books that range from anywhere from 10,000 to 25,000 in rank within the top 20 to be able to, to compete and to get into the top 20 of a uh, respective category. This will um, make it a little bit more easy for you to, to get into the best sellers with your book and start to generate a fair amount of sales. Okay, this is just a general overview of how you should do your research to find Kindle bestseller categories that are easy to get into. With just a couple of sales, you can easily break into the tw top 20 um, best-selling books in a specific niche. Okay, now when you found when you found uh, your your category that you would like to write the book in, I would recommend uh, if you have knowledge on the subject already, you can easily come up with enough content to create a simple how-to guide with approximately 20 pages or five to seven thousand words 
which is basically a short book and you can sell it at $2.99 on Amazon, no problem at all. If um, you choose a niche but you don't actually have much knowledge about it, um, the way I would um, do it is you go over to Google and search for, for, for the topic and the niche you're in and find related articles and read them and learn about the subject take notes and rewrite it in your own words, come up with your own content. Uh, there's enough content all over the place on the internet to, to, uh, to make a book out of. It's perfectly okay to, to rewrite stuff in your own words and sell it on Amazon. Uh, people are willing to pay for information that they would usually find for free. If you do the work, go out there, find the best information, and compile it all into one book, people would be willing to pay you money. I know it sounds crazy because they could get it for free anyway, but people do pay to get information, quality information. That's why this stuff works. Okay, so um, then you'd have your, your book written. When the book is written, it's quite easy to format your book. All the information you need to format your book is inside the free guide, Kindler's List, that I'm offering as a free download to you guys who are watching this video. Uh, just, if you haven't done it yet, go there, download the book, go through uh, all the chapters. At the end, I'll tell you how to format your Kindle book. It's really easy. It can be done in less than five minutes, and your book is ready to be published. Um, I will also give you a handful of resources of how to create a um, compelling book cover because this is also a very important aspect of selling your Kindle book. You need to have a really good cover. It needs to blow people's minds and it's actually easy to create your own book covers using simple programs such as Paint. If you have Photoshop and are knowledgeable in photo editing software, I would go for Photoshop. It's really easy to create a Kindle ebook cover. I map it out in my free guide. And if you don't want to do that, I've got a couple of good resources. There's a page called Fiverr.com. I'll actually give you two links to people to who create really amazing ebook covers that look really professional for just five dollars so you can get your cover created for five dollars you'll have your book you've got your cover and now you're basically ready to upload the whole thing to amazon.com and get it published um, yeah what was it gonna say um, that's just the main layout of how to create your Kindle book and upload it to Amazon um, but what you can do now if you wanna I've got it all outlined in the guide, you can go through it um, by yourself, but I just want to say that you can actually use these Kindle books as lead magnets or as a good source to generate quality leads for your business. This could be Empower Network, any other network marketing deal that you have, or if you want to sell high ticket items on ClickBank, uh, other, other digital products, your own products or you just want to build your list. Um, the thing you, to do here is um, at the beginning of the book or the title page after your cover you need to have a link <coughs> excuse me for a second um, you need to have a link to a squeeze page of some sort to uh, collect email addresses so you also need an autoresponder either Aweber or GetResponse. I've got the, that all outlined in the guide so don't worry about those things for now but you need to have a link to a squeeze page of some sort at the beginning of your book so people will actually um, want to have a look inside of your Kindle books before they buy them they can actually even click on that link and get to your squeeze page even without buying your, your Kindle book that's another little trick right there to, to build your list faster and get more people to, to your business and to, to your products okay so you can do that and also have another link and a call to action, very important, at the end of your book, reminding them of uh, what they need to do. Make them click on the link, tell them, click on this link, get your free bonus, enter your name and email, and see you on the other side. That's uh, how I do things, and that's uh, what's worked for me.
So, I hope you enjoyed this little video. Just remember to click on the link below if you're on YouTube. The link will take you to my blog, and on that blog I've got a link to the actual guide that you can just go ahead and download. Okay, and if you're on my blog right now, just go down, scroll down below the video, there's a big link. Just click on it, enter your name and email address, download the guide, go through it, and if you have any questions, you can contact me anytime. My contact information is inside of the guide. I've actually provided an email address that you can just use to contact me anytime. And I hope this helped you. And I'd like to see you again tomorrow when I release my next video. Speak to you then.